This little device is the Ting by a company called Whisker Labs, and it could save you and your family's lives. This isn't an exaggeration. The Ting is a device that can detect and warn you about electrical fire hazards before they happen. And all you have to do is to plug it into any outlet in your home. There are more than 5,100 electrical fires a year, which cause more than 500 deaths, 1,400 injuries, and get this, more than a billion dollars in property damage. Personally, I will never own a house again without installing one of these. That's because these types of fires can be caused by almost anything electrical that could spark, which is literally everything electrical. You can have electrical fires from a defective power strip, from an improperly installed light switch, and sometimes even from the power lines that run from the utility company to your house under your lawn. Of course, you can and should have a smoke detector, but these smoke detectors only work after a fire has started. The Ting can detect electrical electrical problems before they get a chance to spark a fire in the first place. Okay, so the biggest problem with electrical fires is that there's almost no way to know when they're going to happen because most electrical fires happen because of damage to a wire inside the wall or a faulty power strip. As a homeowner, especially somebody who owns a house that was built in 1875 and is constructed almost entirely out of wood, I am terrified of the ideas of electrical fires. I have fire extinguishers throughout my house. There's, there's one over there in the corner, there's one in the guest room down the hall, there's one in the hallway downstairs, and so on. We have an alarm system with wired smoke detectors and heat detectors, and still I am always worried that something might happen, and I hope they don't. So electrical fires are caused by arcing. If you've ever looked up at lightning and you see it jump from one place to another place in the sky, that's arcing. That's what happens when electricity flows through air. Now, in lightning, it's supposed to arc across the sky. That's what lightning does. But in your household electricity, arcing is what happens when the electricity leaves the wire that it's in and goes someplace that it is not supposed to be. And that's what causes the fires. Lightning is in fact how this product came to be. The scientist who developed this product with Whisker Labs is the same one that developed the system for monitoring lightning that is what gives your phone the ability to warn you and tell you how far away the nearest lightning strike is. So the systems that monitor lightning are distributed all over and they can look at the electricity in the area and figure out where lightning storms are happening. They figure out your location, they figure out where the lightning is, and they can warn you if the lightning's too close. So what the Ting does is it monitors your house for electrical patterns. It's looking for things like spikes or drops in the voltage that can signal that electricity is not flowing through the wires, but is jumping to something else. And when they detect this, the team reaches out to you by phone, text, and email, and will send an electrician to your house on their dime in order to fix the problem. The Whisker Lab team does real-time monitoring, so you can see exactly what the current in your house is doing at any moment. And so when the staff at Ting notices a problem and they call you, they can direct you to turn off the breakers in your house one by one until they see that the electrical system is safe, and then they know where the problem is to send the electrician to. And it really is doing real-time monitoring. I've had the Ting unplugged for about a day while I've been working on this script, and it's notified me several times that the Ting is offline, and now I'm gonna plug it back in, and the power light is on to show me that the Ting is working, and sometime while I'm doing this, I should get a notification on my phone that the Ting is connected again. And there's that notification. It just told me that the Ting is back online. So one example that they gave me in the briefing I had with them was a house where they detected problems in the transmission line buried under the lawn, that ran from the utility pole to their house. Whisker Lab had them immediately call the public utility who came out and was incredibly skeptical about the call. But when they dug up the power line, they found it was in fact installed incorrectly and could have easily set the house on fire. Just like those systems that are designed to monitor lightning across the country get better and better the more sensing stations that are available, the Ting also gets better the more people install it. In fact, and this sounds kind of crazy, I talked to them right during the Palisades fires were happening. They told me they had some data they couldn't show me right then, but they showed me graphs for the earlier fire in Maui. A reporter had already merged footage from a security camera in a wildlife sanctuary with the time that the fire was known to occur, and you can actually see the fire start in the video. So what they showed me was a graph of the electrical service in the area and it had a massive voltage drop that can only happen when power starts flowing out of the transmission lines to something it is not supposed to be, which in this case was it flowing out of the power line into the brush around the pole. Like I said, we were on the call while the Palisades fire was still happening and they said they couldn't give me specifics about that fire because they're still working with officials. They told me that they had similar data on that fire and a few days later I saw an article in the New York Times that showed that the team had in fact seen the moment that the fire started. With so many of the Ting units installed in the area in Los Angeles near the fire, they could see the aggregate data of everyone's voltage momentarily dropping. That is some crazy <laughs> I've had this in my house for several months now and thank God there have been no problems. It's a little bit weird to be relying on a system where if nothing happens, everything's going okay. But just like with an alarm system, if you're not getting a call, it means that you're not being burglarized, right? 
With the Ting, if you don't get a call, there is an electrical hazard. But to reassure you, they do still send updates every couple of days so that you know that there's no problems in the system and they're still monitoring. And really, that's it. One device, one subscription plan for a lot of peace of mind. I really think that anybody who spends any time inside of a building should have one of these. I've recommended these to my friends. I've put them in my mother-in-law and my mother's house. I've recommended to the people I know who own businesses in the area to plug those in there as well. I would absolutely never live in a house again without using the Ting. Links to the Ting are in the description below. Now, normally at this point, I'd ask you to give me feedback in the comments if you've used a service or not, but I think most people have not heard of Ting yet. But if you have used it, let me know below. I'd also like to know if you've ever had an electrical fire, but that's really depressing and sort of I don't want to hear that. So if you want to share, share. If you don't want to share, kind of skip commenting this time. For Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss. And as always, thanks for giving this a try and go change the batteries in your smoke detector.